I knew, I knew, I knew this guy. That's his balls grab against Yanni. What yeah. a set we have here. Wario, Alex, this is going to be really exciting, actually. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll definitely sing balls before. He def uh, CFL native, we might hear the crowd get extremely loud this time, especially against Yanni, so we'll see what's up. Yeah, these, uh, these Florida tournaments, you can always count on CFL going crazy for them. So, okay, Very exciting. what do you think of this match personally? This is, again, similarly to uh, to Rob, War uh, no, sorry, Rob Steve. Very wacky matchup, very goofy matchup. These are two characters who have their own little quirks, their own little uh, little bits of cheese here and there. I think, obviously, Steve's going to have a little bit more of that, but that waft obviously going to be a huge thing for Balls to Wario. Yeah, and I mean, I feel like the big difference, at least, if we're comparing uh, Rob to Wario in this matchup is, like, Wario does not have as nearly as many good ways to kind of deal with that camping that Steve's going to have. The only thing is that if you camp, then, okay, I get more waft without really having to think about it. But it's going to be so much harder for Wario to come in and approach. Right, that was the thing, too, in that last set. We saw the Rob get a lot of, like, lasers and gyros here and there to kind of snuff out uh, what Steve is trying to build. We're not going to see that as much here. Okay, trying to go for the little mix up there. That dash attack was not yeah, even remotely low. safe, but Ball is still going to get the pick up on the stock there. Oh, Diamond just coming out though for Yanni. That's huge. Got it just in, in time. Oh man, that was a wacky set of <laughs> And got him with the bike. It Effort. just looked like it glitched out Alex's arms. <laughs> it's, it was just like a, he dropped it, like he slipped and it fell. Yeah. Well, Yanni plays some mind games right now. Just like sitting there against that wall waiting, and then just Balls was just going all around in there. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like that's just like a uh, Steve animation thing, you know? It is. <laughs> Ooh, and another down air coming out there from Yanni. Those are so quick and really difficult to react to sometimes. Yeah. Right now, yeah, Yanni's really trying to play around this bike and use those hitbox extensions on himself, so. Yeah, there's just not much that Balls can get going at the moment. Yeah, he's got to mix up his movement a lot more just because it's just like you do have to fight a disjoint despite it not being large. It's just going to be at any approach that you're going to have, just like with your raw normals. Right. Get a couple, nice couple up air zero. Gets rid of the crafting table, but it kind of works out in Yanni's favor in the end of the up smash. Yeah, he got Good better than that hard. <laughs> a little bit late on that grab, but oh, that's there's a stop. The walk. Burns yeah. it kind of early, though, but does even out the stock out. We'll see uh, if that comes into play at all. Yeah. No, I mean, it, it's going to be hard to rely on that clutch now. I don't even think we're going to get like a half waft for this because we're on the last this stop now. Rough for Ball, 77% already unanswered. Yanni just cooking him at the moment. Yeah, he got pretty good spacing on that bike there, but well, let's see if he's going to be able to bring this back now because like you cannot rely on that waft at this point. Yeah, he's got the gold though, has to actually craft it. Finally, a slight hit there from uh, Balls grab, but still not enough. The TNT not going to get the kill. Yeah, good timing from Balls there. We got a couple of Steves in our region, so should at least know the timing of those setups. Diamond oh, that's going to be it. And a really misplaced up really, from uh, from Balls grab. Yeah, and it's like, honestly, when you have a, like a stock, a percent deficit that's like that severe, it's going to be really hard to make those hard calls. So especially if it's not, like, that reward. Not worth that risk at all. Yeah, it's a very almost effortless stock from Yanni. I mean, like I said, 77% off that that string with the up tilt. That's already a really tough comeback to make for uh, for Wario without waft as well. Yeah, so a, a risky option in the end for that yeah. up beam. The main thing that we're going to need some from balls is we need much better gameplay on that movement because that was not there to be out of things. Like things like that, a little cute things started there. But oh wow, the job with the the jab combo there. Oh, that's going to hurt. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Balls had a solid start to game one. I mean, that F tilt worked out for him. He had a slight lead, if I remember correctly. But, I mean, Steve's such a such a dynamic character, and this is nothing like you know, the last set that we saw. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, despite, like, how the Rafael was looking at the beginning, we've got even percents at the moment. Oh, okay, a little bit of a whiskey from Yanni there. Oh, man, he's going for so many of these up Bs, but... Such like, a risky option. Yeah, I mean, we don't have Diamond on deck, so it's not going to be like an auto stock last at this percent, but you got to be careful. This is... <laughs> Another one, and now Yanni has him right where he wants him on the ledge. Good recovery, though, from Balls. Yeah, and also the fact that uh, Yanni has been using that bike to, like, extend, like, that down smash, that could have caught that ledge get up really good. Uh, but uh, Balls actually super, super aware of just how to time his uh, roll options. But yeah, that was stuff. fantastic from Yanni. A nice little conversion into the back air. Balls had to get back to stage, tried to bike into it. Nah, that anvil was always going to be there. 
Yeah, how does Ball's gonna just like get it now? Because like at this point, now that you're stocked down, you're gonna have to go. But still going for this raw piece, not changing it up his game plan regardless. And as long as Yanni keeps that in mind, it's gonna oh, be that's a good from out. Yanni. Oh, Thought maybe we see the other forward air there to try and get a spike. But good conservative of that option. Yeah, the Yanni didn't realize he was out of fire there. Oh well, <laughs> that'll do it too, I too. suppose. <laughs> so we'll see if we can if Ball's can capitalize any miscues like that. But yeah. he's got to he's got to stop his mind from happening. <laughs> Hold on deck here, Diamond as well, if he can just get the time to craft it. Nice I mean, dash this attack, not going to do it though. I'm going to say, like, if at 136, you're not looking to craft uh, Diamond now. You're waiting for that right. stop loss right here. Right. There's a good back air for Balls to even out the stock count, but so much percent against such a talented Steve and Yanni, or Alex rather. Yanni almost getting the kill, not quite though. Okay, yeah, honestly. Balls has not been caught one time on any of those ledge setups at all, so I got to give big props to that. Another stock though going Yanni's way, really well done. And the diamond has now been crafted. Oh, okay. wait for that down air. It was fantastic from Yanni. Honestly, it's something that I'm very happy to see from the Steves is like they're mixing up the way that they do their combos now. So that way people have to guess like what is the action that I need to do that's correct now. So like off of that, you can just get so much more percent off of it off of just going for like the normal thing that people now know at SDI. Right. I mean I feel like Steve is a character that really thrives off of not being linear and mixing up, and that's oh. a huge waste of the walk from balls grab. And yeah. I think even if he does take the stock, the fact that that's just happened could be terrible. And the hitbox yeah. extension from Yanni is going to take the set in his favor. No, I, I kind of feel like the, the second that Wap was thrown out, he just threw the game there. It was just like, <laughs> he uh, was done. <laughs> again, it's, a, it's another really high risk option there from Balls and just not quite paying out in the end. Yeah, that's for sure. And honestly, I just feel like Yanni's game sense is getting a lot better than um, it was when I, the last time I saw him. I think. I think the last time I watched Yanni was like at Gim Invitational, so I haven't seen him since then. But just like kind of the things that he's doing in neutral, just kind of being patient in certain situations, using different ways of just like his mobility, just like space around things like effortlessly. It's really good to see. Yeah, really, yeah. Really uh, he's he's definitely got his own like very unique, unique sense of style both within and without of the game, you know. And I think that uh, that's <laughs> that's always going to come into play, you know. I feel like some players are just 